topic of tonight's talk eh, is contradictions in the Buddhism or the Buddha's teachings. Uh, why I want to talk about this eh, is because eh, there may be some of you eh, who consider the Dhamma very important and may want to practice the Dhamma seriously. Is the is the speaker can can hear? See for somebody like me who has renounced, it is very important that I practice the true Dhamma. Because I am investing my life in the Dhamma. Some of you may not invest your whole life in the Dhamma, but still you may want to invest one or two hours of your life in practicing the Dhamma. So for those few of you uh, that, that you practice the true authentic Dhamma is also very important. For most people, this is not very important whether you are practicing the really authentic Dhamma or not. For those people who come to the Buddhist society or the temple uh, to do some dana offerings, uh, OC, uh, or you come to do some chanting and then you go back very happy. Uh, if you practice uh, very shallow in that respect, uh, uh, the Dhamma is not very important. In fact, for such a person, it uh, doesn't matter also what religion you belong to, uh, because all religions teach you to do good, uh, to avoid evil. And for most people, the aim is to go to heaven. Uh, so, they are not really practicing the Dhamma. The Dhamma of the Buddha is the highest Dhamma. It answers all the questions eh, about the deepest questions you can ask about life. Where did we come from? And where are we going after this? And is life really worthwhile? living or is it better to get out of this round of rebirths? It answers all these questions. And so if you want to practice the higher Dhamma, then you want to be sure you are investing your time and effort in the true authentic teachings of the Buddha.